it might be surprising that a conservation charity with two zoos based firmly on land would be involved in protecting fish. But today in our ZSS Goes Wild, we'll see how wild experts like our vets help us get involved in conservation programs in our oceans as well as here on land. <coughs> At the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland, we're fortunate to have many wild experts, from our wild genes geneticists, to our field conservation team, through to our vets, whose experience in animal health and welfare is an invaluable part of many of our conservation projects. One of the wild species currently being helped by our vets in partnership with the University of St Andrews is a fish called the flapper skate. Skates are related to sharks and rays, but what's so special about flapper skate? Well, I'll let Dr. James Thorburn from the University of St Andrews and our vet, Dr. Georgina Cole, explain that. The flapper skate is the UK's largest skate species. In fact, at nearly three metres long and two metres wide and weighing in excess of 100 kilograms, this is Europe's biggest skate and might even be a contender for the world's largest skate species. The spot patterns on top of its body are just beautiful to behold and its sheer size and the fact that it's swimming around our coasts relatively unknown just makes it the most intriguing marine species. Well not that many people are aware that these amazing animals actually inhabit the waters off the west coast of Scotland and the flapper skate is critically endangered and incredibly we still know very little about their biology and ecology. Flapper skates are really large fish, makes them vulnerable to being accidentally caught in fishing equipment right from the moment they hatch. They're also really slow growing and slow to reproduce, which makes it really difficult for them to recover from any reduction in numbers. As a result, we now have a flapper skate based marine protected area that runs from Loch Sunat to the Sound of Jura. This is where the team is working with the assistance of local fishermen to catch flapper skates, tag them and release them so that we can learn more about these mysterious deep ocean giants. We actually know very little about the flapper skate and it's information that we urgently need in order to ensure that we manage the population effectively to help conserve it. The work we're undertaking on flapper skate is really aimed at trying to understand more about their movements, their behaviour, their habitat use and their life history characteristics. The role of the RZSS vets in this project has been to develop and refine a technique for tagging the skate that will enable the animals to be tracked within their habitat. Uh, we're also gathering data on the physiology and the health of the skate and investigating their response to stresses such as capture and handling. Landing a fish as big as a flapper skate is no mean feat. Once the fish is on the boat, the team keep it hydrated while our vets fit the tracking tag and conduct an ultrasound scan. The tagging work we undertake is aiming to look at movements and habitat use for a different size skate in males and females over a 10 year period. Uh, relatively little is actually known about the biology of the skate and that includes when and where they lay their eggs. So we're assisting with the ultrasound of female skate and performing hormone analysis that will help us to have a better understanding of their reproductive biology. Normally, Georgina is based at Edinburgh Zoo looking after all of our animals from tigers through to tapirs. The flapper skate work on the boat is a little different, but Georgina actually has heaps of experience in this area working with fish. Before joining the team at Edinburgh Zoo, I worked in Cape Town in South Africa where I looked after a collection of Southern African fish and sharks, uh, among other animals. Working with skate is very different from a normal day at the zoo as we spend all day on the boat, <laughs> where the biggest challenge is often the weather. Uh, and a swell at sea can make normally routine tasks such as blood sampling or using an ultrasound quite a challenge. Uh, by far the best part of this project is getting the opportunity to spend time at sea off the beautiful west coast of Scotland um, and to observe the skate in their natural habitat and also to eat a lot of biscuits. The combined skills of our vets and the University of St Andrews researchers are key to the success of this project. 
We're very lucky to be working with the vets from Edinburgh Zoo, uh, as one of them in particular, Georgina Cole, has a wealth of experience working with different species of sharks and skates in various parts of the world. Bringing this experience to our project here in Scotland with the flapper skate has been an invaluable opportunity to really drive forward and develop the research that we undertake on the skate, ultimately really helping us to understand what the skate are doing and how they interact with their environment. The collaboration between vets and conservation scientists on a project like this enables the species to be studied in a more holistic way. So when we combine our knowledge, it enables us to have a greater understanding of health, biology and ecology of the flapper skate and that in turn is going to help us to protect the species for future generations to enjoy. Despite flapper skate being a shy, deep ocean creature that you might never see, you can still help conserve them and James will explain how. If you head down to the beach at low tide and walk along the strand line, that line of seaweed and debris that washes up on the sand, have a look for a mermaid's purse. These are in fact skate or small shark egg cases. Here's one here. Now this is completely dried out and it's really hard but if it's on the beach it might still be wet and could be as large as an A5 piece of paper. If you're lucky enough to find one of these take a picture and report it to the great egg case hunt that's run by the Shark Trust. Clearly there's lots of useful information being collected on Flapperskate via this project but what does the future hold for Flapperskate and for the project itself? We will continue to monitor the skate with the help of the vets from Edinburgh Zoo for as long as it's necessary to ensure that conservation goal is met. We're continually learning new information about these animals and that will help us conserve the, uh, the skate not only in the protected area but also on a nationwide level throughout Scotland. This is clearly an important project for one of our ocean natives and it couldn't happen without the support of our ZSS vets. Like many of our conservation projects, some of the funding for this work comes from ticket sales to our zoos, Edinburgh Zoo and Highland Wildlife Park. With both of those zoos currently closed, that funding is not currently available, but you can still help save threatened species in the wild that you love by following the link you can see here or above or below this video and donating whatever you can. This is the last episode of RZSS Goes Wild for now. We really hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at some of the amazing conservation work we're involved with with threatened species in the wild. If you've missed any episodes, you can catch up on our website or on any of our social media channels. And we are really looking forward to being able to talk to you about our conservation work in person when we can open the doors to our zoos and welcome you back inside. We cannot wait to see you then.